Hello guys, in this video we will be taking a very close look at the autosomal DNA of three Matalla hunter-gatherers from Mesolithic Sweden. These hunter-gatherers are particularly interesting because two of the three carry derived variants in EDAR, an East Asian gene implicated in East Asian facial traits, such as shovel-shaped incisors, epicanthic folds, straight hair. Uh, and this is surprising because these Matalla hunter-gatherers do not actually have any East Asian ancestry. Now let's begin by getting into the autosomal DNA of the first individual, which is a woman with haplogroup U5. Uh, this is her predicted phenotype with Nashakot. Nashakot predicts her to have blue eyes, uh, snub-shaped nose, and blonde hair. As you can see, YSEC is actually predicting her to have brown or very dark hair, which is kind of interesting. Uh, YSEC is just doing their own thing. It's not really as good as Nashakot and Snipper Free. Uh, Snipper Free predicts her to have blue eyes, blonde hair, and white skin, so this is probably what she looked like. This is how I depicted her hair. Um, and she actually had BH, BH1, blue eye haplotype 1, and BH2, and BH3, definitely very light color for the eyes. When it comes to the pro 19 pro variation of DRD2, she was heterozygous, which means intermediate number of D2 dopamine receptors in the brain. Uh, same for uh, TAC1 variation, also in DRD2, also heterozygous here. Kind of, a, kind of an exotic genotype for a human, actually. And um, when it comes to Comte's Valmet variation, she was... Uh, met met worry warrior definitely warrior uh, which means the implications of this is that it's a very stereotypically european genotype to have uh, like nothing screams european more than this genotype actually and um, the implications of this is that she would have a uh, very slow reuptake of dopamine which means more dopamine building up in her system which means uh, better attention motivation however problems with stress resiliency when it comes to OXTR, she has conflicting genotypes here, so I just kind of have to make a judgment call. Uh, my judgment is that she did not have the sociopath gene here. And with EDAR, I'm showing you she did not have derived East Asian EDAR, so no East Asian facial traits. Unlike the other two samples, which I'm going to show you later, they actually do have derived EDAR. And uh, she did not have the European lactose persistence mutation, which means probably was lactose intolerant. It's a very recent mutation, so all these ancient hunter-gatherers don't really have it. Uh, but she did have the European mutation that protects against myopia, so she most likely did not need glasses to see in the distance. Now, moving on to polygenic traits, she had a pretty average risk score for type 2 diabetes. Um, she had a high risk score for Parkinson's disease. Uh, she had an average risk score for type 1 diabetes. Uh, she had an average risk score for coronary heart disease. Uh, she had a low risk score for schizophrenia. Um, she had an average risk score for brain aneurysm. Uh, she had a low risk score for bipolar disorder. And she had an average risk score for asthma. Now, this is what she scores with MDLPK11 on GD match. Very stereotypically Motala, stereotypically Scandinavian hunter gatherer result. Uh, with the Oracle, she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Motala plus some kind of. Um, additional noise from Russia, so maybe a little bit more Eastern than what's typical for Matala hunter-gatherers here. Uh, this is what she scores with ancient Eurasia K6. As you can see, mostly Western hunter-gatherer in the result. That's because Matala hunter-gatherers are mostly of Western hunter-gatherer stock. Uh, she's closest to SHG here, Scandinavian hunter-gatherers. Uh, nothing too surprising here. And finally, this is her result with Eurogenes K13. Very, you can see from this result what you can see is that it's a very modern individual, right? If you take a more ancient individual, if you take a Gravetian or some kind of a Cro-Magnon, they would score all kinds of stuff besides Baltic and North Atlantic. They would score South Asian, African, everything else. But this is a very modern individual. She's got a lot of modern North European drift. This is what she scores with PanDNL K10. Um, you can see she's scoring some ASI and Sub-Saharan here. That's because of unresolved genetic drift. Uh, because it's an ancient individual after all, not a modern individual, right? And uh, with the oracles here, she's closest to Samis and Finns, all the usual suspects when it comes to hunter-gatherer admixture in Europe. These people have the highest levels of hunter-gatherer admixture in Europe, and that's why they are the closest populations to this Matala hunter-gatherer here, who is actually a mixture of, you can see, Villa Bruna plus Afonta Vagaratri, so mostly Western hunter-gatherer. Now let's move on to the second individual, also a woman, also U5 haplogroup. Uh, this is what she looked like. As you can see, there is a big difference between the phenotype of the first woman and this one. And this one I depicted with sort of semi-East Asian facial traits. You can see I depicted her with monolith hair, slight epicanthic folds, higher arched eyebrows. That's because she was heterozygous for EDAR mutation. She had the East Asian EDAR mutation. Now, when it comes to eye color, she had BH1 and BH2 and BH3, so definitely light eye color. But because of some other exotic variants, she's predicted to have green eyes, actually, instead of blue. Uh, with Snipper Free, she's predicted to have white skin, blonde hair, and blue eyes.
just like the previous woman, she was heterozygous for proferentin pro variant in DRD2, and she actually had a 1A1 genotype in TAC1, which is huge. It's a very atypical genotype for any modern human. It's a very typical genotype for a chimpanzee, gorilla, orangutan, all kinds of monkeys. Every monkey basically has a 1A1 here. Humans tend to have a 2A2. Now, a 1A1 to the humans, the implications of this is that she would have a higher odds of ADHD and Parkinson's disease. Now, when it comes to Comte's Valmet variation, she was actually Val Val, which means warrior. A uh, very interesting genotype for a European hunter-gatherer. Not a stereotypically European genotype, rather a stereotypically un-European genotype, so lower uh, levels of dopamine in the brain. And uh, when in EDAR, she actually had EDAR. She had derived EDAR, so she probably had East Asian facial traits, such as shovel-shaped incisors or epicanthic folds. And in OXTR, she had derived OXTR. She had uh, the sociopath gene. This is what I call the sociopath gene on my channel. Uh, when it comes to lactose persistence, she did not have the European mutation for lactose persistence, so was probably lactose intolerant as an adult. And... Um, she did not have the European mutation that protects against myopia, so which means uh, she, it was, it's very possible that she was nearsighted and it's very possible that she had uh, poor eyesight. Now, moving on to her polygenic traits, she had an average risk score for Crohn's disease. She had a high risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, she had a high risk score for Parkinson's disease. She also had a above average risk score for type 2 diabetes, an average risk score for coronary heart disease, um, and very high risk score for bipolar disorder and a average risk score for asthma uh, and a very low risk score for type 1 diabetes. This is what she scores with MZLPK11, once again very heavily Western hunter-gatherer result, which actually on this calculator stands for kind of all European hunter-gatherers. Uh, but she is a little bit shifted towards the east. She's a little bit shifted towards Samara hunter-gatherers. As you can see, line 3, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Matala plus Samara, so a little bit more eastern than Matala. And this is what she scores with ancient Eurasia K6, and this might come as a surprise to you guys because there is a... Uh, there is a belief that Matala hunter-gatherers and Scandinavian hunter-gatherers in general are more ancient North Eurasian or more Eastern than, significantly more Eastern than Western hunter-gatherers are. But they are a little bit more Eastern, they have a little bit of ancient North Eurasian admixture, but it's really not as much as you think. And this is what she scores with the Rogin's K13. As you can see, once again, a very modern result. She's scoring, if you count it up, like 95% of modern Northern European genetic drift. Definitely very similar to modern Northern Europeans in terms of the genetic drift. Uh, and yeah, a lot of Northern European components here. And um, in terms of ancestry, she's actually 69% Villa Bruna, so 69% Western hunter gatherer plus 30 or 31% Afonta Vagaratri, which is ancient North Eurasian. So uh, you can visualize her ancestry as two thirds Western hunter gatherer plus one third ancient North Eurasian. Now we're moving on to the final individual, which is a man who had haplogroup I2, YDNA I2. Um, he also had EDAR, he had one derived EDAR, EDAR variant, so semi-Asiatic facial traits, as you can see I depicted him with a little uh, Chinese mustache kind of a thing, so that's, that's just to show that he had East Asian facial traits, because I don't know how to depict East Asian facial traits with blonde hair and blue eyes, it's kind of tricky to do, right? Uh, he's predicted to have blue eyes, snub-shaped nose and blonde hair, uh, with Snipper Free also predicted to have blue eyes, blonde hair and white skin, um, and this is kind of what he looked like. He was heterozygous for the pro 19 pro variant of DRD2, and he was also heterozygous for the TAC1 variant also of DRD2, which is very interesting. Why are these uh, Matala hunter-gatherers getting such exotic genotypes here in TAC1? Why are they getting A1, A2, or A1? Uh, very interesting. Some of them probably definitely had Parkinson's or ADHD. In Comte's Valmet variation, he's got Warrior, which means uh, Val Val genotype. I've already discussed the implications of this genotype earlier, so you should have been paying attention. And he definitely had the sociopath gene. He's got derived OXTR, he's got the sociopath gene. And this is his genotype in EDAR, so he's heterozygous here, not exactly homozygous, like, for example, most Koreans, but uh, still he's got one, one variant for... Uh, derived EDA are one variant for straight, thicker hair and shovel-shaped incisors and all that stuff. He did not have the European mutation for lactose persistence and was most likely lactose intolerant. A very typical genotype for any hunter-gatherer and uh, he actually did not have the European mutation that protects against myopia, which sucks. Uh, he might have had 
nearsightedness, he might have needed glasses. Now, moving on to polygenic traits, he had a high-risk score for coronary heart disease, a high-risk score for Crohn's disease. Um, he had a high-risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, he had a high-risk score for Parkinson's disease. He had an average risk score for type 2 diabetes, average risk score for bipolar disorder. Uh, he's got below average risk score for type 1 diabetes and average risk score for asthma. Uh, this is what he scores with MZLPK11, a very similar to the previous two results, but more Western hunter-gatherer. Actually, this is the most similar we, we managed to get to Matala hunter-gatherer reference here. You can see a mixture of Matala hunter-gatherer plus Scandinavian hunter-gatherer at distance of one, very close distance. And Scandinavian hunter-gatherer is basically the same thing as Matala. Uh, this is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Uh, as you can see, more Western European hunter-gatherer in the result here than the previous two samples. And also closest to Scandinavian hunter-gatherers in Matala 12. And this actually is Matala 12, so surprising that it's not 100% close to one. It's, it doesn't match Matala 12 exactly. It's actually a little bit more shifted towards uh, Haria and Paliar, like South Asian groups, relative to Matala 12. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. You can see very stereotypically Northern European result. A lot of modern Northern European uh, drift. As with all these Scandinavian hunter-gatherers, they all have a lot of modern Northern European drift. And this is where we kind of see the dilemma, right? He's not scoring any East Asian components. No East Asian in his ancestry, but he's got, somehow he's got derived EDAR, similar to the previous woman, right? They both don't have any East Asian ancestry, but they both have derived EDAR. And I'm going to get to that a bit later. Uh, now, this is what he scores with Gidrosia K3. Once again, you can see not much East Eurasian. And the East Eurasian here is all from pretty much ancient North Eurasians, so it doesn't really count. It's not truly... Uh, ancient North Eurasians did not have derived EDAR. So where does the derived EDAR come from? Now, um, on the internet, there is this controversial debate. People debate about it all the time. And I'm intending to settle this debate with this video, right? The debate is, do Scandinavian hunter-gatherers, do Matala hunter-gatherers have EDAR? Do they have derived EDAR because of East Eurasian admixture? Or do they have it because they develop it on their own? I want you guys to take a look at this variant in EDAR. This is an ethnicity specific variant and I actually use it along with some other variants to make imputations for files that are low coverage and don't have the genotype for the main variation. But both Matala 12, which is the last guy, and Matala 1, which is the woman in the middle, have AG here, as well as heterozygous calls in the other SNP, the other ethnicity specific SNP. Two ethnicity specific variants that are not linked to EDAR's main mutation. This means they did not develop this mutation on their own and instead these Matala hunter-gatherers actually got it from East Eurasian admixture. Thank you guys for watching my video until the end. You can download the raw data files for all three of these individuals from link which is in the description and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content.